What is up guys? I'm Big D and welcome to Big D Beast Gaming, my channel for information and gameplay, anything to do with Call of Duty. And of course guys, the big thing that happened the other day was confirmation that we are getting Call of Duty World War 2. That is right, Boots on the Ground is back and I cannot wait. And I've got to tell you, I was on my Instagram just sending hearts out as you normally do. And next minute it was like, wow. Sledgehammers are just there, have just literally dropped this bomb on us. And my face, if you could have seen it, it was a picture. I didn't know whether to smile, shout, or, well, Mrs. Big D saw me there, you know, dribbling with her mouth hanging out, catching flies. Um, but I have recovered, so do not worry, guys. Now, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Take a chance on the Big D. Come on, it is free. Just hit that subscribe button and also leave a like as well. It's absolutely appreciated and I really do mean that. But the reason I asked if you are new is i done a video about the leaks of uh, about a few weeks ago for Call of Duty World War II. And in that video, I spoke about my wishes for this new game, even though no new info uh, had been released at that time. I was just highlighting my hopes and wishes for the game. Fingers crossed they do come true, but in that video I did predict that we would get a trailer around the 28th of April. I was only two days out, but we are getting the well reveal on the 26th, that is Wednesday coming, about three days time, and I cannot wait. I really can't put it into words how excited I am for this. I just hope it's going to be epic, even more so if we get to see a little bit of multiplayer, but I do believe it's going to be a big ask for that. I'm glad Activision uh, has answered our prayers and given us back boots on the ground. So if you are hyped for this, make sure you smash that thumbs up button so I know that you are. Or give me a drop in the comments saying, Big D, I cannot wait. But okay guys, let's move on to these new pictures that I have here. As you can see, we have a soldier holding the butt of the gun with dog tags in hand as well. But if you look closer into his eyes, you can see uh, four figures, uh, three are standing, one of them uh, looks like he's crouching down. Uh, next we have this poster which I think um, has been around for a little while but was never taken too seriously because I think no one will really believe that it was true. But in the poster you can see at the top the 3rd of November which lines up with other Call of Duty games uh, being released around that time um, from previous years. Call of Duty is normally released on the first Friday of uh, November and the 3rd of November matches this perfectly. Now, if you move over to these picks, you can read uh, the, some of the comparisons from one of the first picks uh, leaked, which is on the right. You can see the soldier, which is in both pictures, uh, and also the big battleship uh, at the back of there as well. Which means to me, guys, that this poster is 100% uh, real, and whoever has got it, well done for you guys on getting it. It's absolutely fantastic. So here are some other leak images, mainly of CD case art uh, work, which was the first lot of pictures uh, leaked, and which you've probably already seen. Now this is interesting as well. GameStop, or if you're in the UK like me, it's uh, called Game. They will be getting information about World War II and all the versions available delivered to them on the 25th of this month. And in turn, this means you'll be able to go down to your uh, store and pre-order Call of Duty World War II and whatever edition you want from the 27th, the day after the reveal. But you can go down there as of today and um, literally pre-order the standard edition if you wanted to. Uh, I've already gone down there and pre-ordered mine. But the hype is real guys, I guarantee this because when I went into my game shop, everyone was queuing up ready for it. It's got so many positive, um, like literally reaction from the Call of Duty uh, community, which is absolutely fantastic. Next we have uh, screenshots from Amazon. These are the images of the uh, standard box art. Uh, so you, first up we have the PS4, as you can see. Now if you own a PlayStation, of course the DLC uh, match will be coming to you early again, which is uh, fantastic. Uh, the deal seems to be ongoing with PlayStation and at Division, so um, watch out for that guys and if any more information comes along I will be sharing it with you. Next we have the Xbox, my nephew will be very happy for this. Uh, lastly we have the PC, if only I had a strong uh, gaming PC I would definitely be giving it a go. Next, we have some more pictures which were released, uh, I think yesterday, that we seem to have 
the Transformers uh, actor Josh uh, uh, Hamill, I think I'm pronouncing that right guys, it seems like he's all dressed up and he's doing some CGI work for Call of Duty World War 2, it's not been confirmed yet but it does seem like this could be what he's doing at the moment because next to uh, this picture we have this one where it seems like there's a, a very striking resemblance from him in his suit to the character on screen. Now this uh, picture here was leaked on the Call of Duty website and then it was taken down so it really pretty much seems like that could be happening. This next picture is very exciting because if you look very very closely it also says that there is going to be a private beta which is absolutely fantastic which uh, the betas have been coming along ever since Black Ops 3 and I do believe that it helps the developers to know what they need to correct before that we actually get the game so be prepared for a patch as soon as we put our games in or download them um, but also in the uh, description on the box as well it basically states what we are going to be getting for uh, the Call of Duty um, game it says campaign description you can read that as well if you want to guys multiplayer description as well as the high octane cooperative uh, game mode now could we be getting zombies? Could we be getting something completely different? I'm not a zombies player, so I, I would like something different. Maybe a, a Spec Ops kind of thing, which was on um, Modern Warfare 2. It yeah, was absolutely fantastic. Something like that would be cool to go out and do with your friends. Um, so let me know in the comments below, guys, if you think that is a great idea. So guys, set your clocks, reminders, whatever you need to do. To remind you that the 26th of April, which is this Wednesday coming, 10 o'clock Pacific time, 1 o'clock Eastern, and 6 o'clock for us in the UK is when we will be getting the big reveal, and I cannot wait till the 3rd of November. But guys, I want to know how you feel about this. Let me know in the comments below about the confirmation that the new Call of Duty is a boots on the ground game. It's coming for Sledgehammer Games. Make sure you stay tuned to my channel because I will have the trailer for you as soon as it goes live. I will be staying up as long as it takes to get a video uploaded onto YouTube. But guys, thanks for watching. It's been absolutely great to share this with you. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. I really do appreciate it. Keep on beasting guys and I'll see you soon on another video. Actually, I'll see you on Wednesday. Keep beasting guys.